All right, so this is Cool Nine Five Five and Kato. We're back again, picking up right where we left off with our unlimited dank green herbs. Oh boy! <laughs> Take the hog. Might as well. Just gonna put in another box though. Oh boy, a typewriter. I actually want one of these just because I find them cool. They are cool. That little clack 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 chink. I find it satisfying. It you... <laughs> yeah. It also makes you feel professional. Pretty much. But me and my typos? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. You, have, like, you didn't see me back in the day when I was known as the typo queen. Me and my one friend still joke about it. Please deposit any <laughs> items you have yeah. in the security box. I'm guessing you and your keyboard's not the greatest of friends. No. We still joke. It's like, remember that one time you typoed so badly that you apparently went to the moon and started speaking another language? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Winter French. Th there's another trick uh, here, actually. So, oh. so you know how if you try to go through an area, you'll trigger the 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 shutters if you have an item that's metal. Mm -hmm. You can actually, when you are going to get the emblem, you can run through the emblem area, lock the windows down. You know how they'll normally break through. In that, mm -hmm. once you make the emblem, well, if you do it that way, they can't break through, and then you can put the items up, reset the alarm, and get out scot-free. Because they won't break through the window. Hmm. Time to open the shutters. It appears to be locked. Do you know how long it fucking took me to remember some of these puzzles that are way back here when you backtrack? Yeah. Wait, I need to release the, the lock first. What the fuck do I need to do to release the lock? Did I forget to do me, something? I don't <laughs> Probably. Bitch. Okay, so I guess I forgot something. That's the usual. It's been so long since I played Code Veronica that I've forgotten shit again. Yeah, oh yeah. That I got distracted by making the intro. It's like, I think I had to access the computer to unlock the locks or something. Probably. <sighs> Are you sleepy? No. Did you have a long day at work? You want to beat up that guy? <laughs> yes. I just... Before, when I used to get, like, shit like that, like, I had... Real creepy fucking guy come up and tell me something. Mm. Ooh. Before I just kind of freeze, not knowing what the fuck to do, and this time I just bit my tongue like. Mm. I found it. So I'm definitely. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm definitely getting better at dealing with the public, especially when you work on Crackhead Street. <laughs> I think that's when you just go down the next aisle, grab a two by four, and just start beating some ass. <laughs> Basically, I mean, we got a lot of heavy shit. It is the hardware store. Yep. Pretty much. The hardware store is useful. Also, look at those little bitches yeah. out there. <laughs> hey, look, it's the intelligence equivalent of Tumblr. Honestly, yeah. It's pretty much just like, it's like watching Tumblr, but instead of through a computer screen, it's through a window. Tumblr and now Twitter, honest to God. Most social media is pretty goddamn dumb. Yeah. I have resorted to just not giving a shit. Yeah. I also don't have nearly as many Discord servers as I used to be. I used to be a lot more talkative and online. Now I'm just like, Ugh. I might DM like three people. <laughs> I'm in too many goddamn chats, but most of them mute. Where'd all the zombies go? Same. Where'd you go, you <laughs> little shits? <laughs> Did you accidentally do something? I guess I despawn. Well, I guess the game moves them to over here. Oh, guess so. I love how their timing is that's when they get the gate open. It's like they sensed it. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, 
Oh, did you hear? Because I follow a few people on Twitter that I enjoy interacting with, and they talk. Their accounts are set completely to just discussing Resident Evil stuff. Yeah. And apparently, there's been some leaks. You can't see it, but I'm doing the quotations of Resident Evil 8 <laughs> been going around. Yeah. I know the big thing that people are talking about is apparently someone has mentioned werewolves. <laughs> what the fuck? What the unholy fuck is wrong with these fucktards? I'm let putting me, them in the guillotine. Get. I am putting let them in the guillotine. <laughs> also, I like this camera <clears throat> angle. Yeah, it is a nice camera angle. Let me, uh, let me go grab the supposed leak. This is why I don't like leaks, because they're stupid, they're <laughs> fucking out there. What are we going back to? Resio 3.5? <laughs> Alright, let me read it out. Ethan will be returning as a playable character. He will not be called Resident, Resident Evil 8, but will have a clever title. The game will be first person. Gameplay Hashtag doubt it. Village leading up to a castle. Hashtag doubt it. The environment will be rural, snowy, and mountainous, possibly Europe. Regular zombies will be appearing instead of the molded. There will be a persistent, shadowy female enemy that will follow you but will dissipate if shot. There are also wolf-like creatures that will attack the player in certain areas. Chris Redfield will be returning in some capacity. Of course, because always got to have Chris. Of course. No, no longer need this key. Throw it the fuck away. <laughs> Cause if it ain't Leon, it's gotta be our poster boy. Cri Give Barry a chance. We are highly, we highly stress this is all rumor. We are simply passing along information given to us. That <laughs> that just sounds like some fucktard went to Tumblr. And, hey guys, what would you like to see in the next Resident Evil? Fucking werewolf! What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> it's a science fiction horror game. This isn't Van Helsing McDog fucker. There are some people, like the people I mentioned, that were talking about it. Uh, they're expecting more mutant wolves than actual werewolves, if it is true. Either way, it sounds dumb. Like. <laughs> Look, this is my OC, please donut steal. Get off me, you little shits. I just don't even care. Oh, I accidentally shot my load. Oh, I'm on fire. Touch the fire. Warm up. So there's the actual email. I don't know, but most of these are so fucking dumb. Yeah. It's like, oh, yes, we're going to pull things out of our ass. And then, oh, that, that one went to turbo. <laughs> But yeah, people just pull the stupidest things out their ass and like, this is what we think will happen. It's like, you know, why would they go back to first person though when the third person games have been extremely popular? Yeah, my first thought is the fact that they've been using the uh, third person in the last, in RE2 and RE3 remakes. Yeah, it's like, people didn't care for the first person that much, but the third person's been pretty well received. Yeah. It's like, so why would we swap back to that? Plus, Ethan's boring. <laughs> also, his reaction is like, oh, I just lost a hand. Plop. Oh, I just lost a foot. Plop. Yeah, all that. All, seven is a fever dream in that regard. But yeah, that's the other thing is, I get it, herbs have always pushed the boundaries, but literally losing limbs and reattaching them with magic gel, that just kind of breaks the immersion a bit. Yeah. Like I said, Resident Evil is always a little out there, but that's just pushing the boundaries. Oh boy, yeah. shiny metal. Freaking hate dealing with some stupid shit. 
Come on, I don't care about the product description. I'm not buying it, I'm stealing it. <laughs> you fuckers. Rib. <clears throat> you missed. You didn't! Huzzah! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Got not that one. Ooh. Ah, that one. Two I'm for two. A pattern here. <laughs> yep, two for two. It's okay. Yeah. We've got unlimited drugs. Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> Canada, when we got legal. <laughs> Come on. Man, though, those are some really no. detailed zombies. Minus the Ew. fact that missing the junks. But then again, that would be uncomfortable. Yes. I it's... mean, if you want to make the player uncomfortable, that'd be a pretty good way to go about it being no uh, ratings. <laughs> yeah, we're already a rated M game. We don't need uh, decaying ding dongs. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting Outlast flashbacks now. <laughs> I'm getting more of a nemesis. Nemesis just flies in singing, You touch my ding ding dong. My Our brains went in different directions. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that fucking video. Yes, I'll put all the shit in the box. Just shut up and leave me alone. Oh, so there's an option of just remove all metal or no. Just one foul sweep. No reason to- technically it is metal. It's just metal that can't be metal detected. Okay, so here's the trick I'm, I'm telling you about. Basically, you have a metal I, item. I can visualize it, yeah. Oh. Pretty much, and now we're safe. You can't break through, fuckers. <laughs> a 3D scanner. Wow, this is the original 3D printer. Code Veronica thought of it first. Yeah. Please place the material into the scanner. Oh. Too bad it only requires a very expensive, uncommon alloy. Oh wait, just like now. I'm gonna put my dick. Did you say you're gonna put your dick? Yes. Scan that. So you just. Wanna... Oh, you know critical. Hmm? Yeah. Uh. Are you talking about penguins? Yeah. Hey guys, it's critical here. Yeah. Uh, he released a video today and I watched it on my lunch. Because you know how most YouTubers get sponsored by like Rage Shadow Legends, NordVPN, yeah. etc. Yeah. <laughs> he got fucking sponsored by Adam and Eve. Yeah. It's a 50% off, I think, discount code. And he had like a. F the entire video with it was this. It was a decently long video. He's like, you know what I want to do for Valentine's Day? We're gonna stuff a piñata full of lube and various sex toys and then try and break it in my backyard with large dildos and some sort of strange flashlight. Yeah, look, they can't get in. Like a whip. <laughs> you mean like when he was using a flashlight to break, uh, what's it called? Uh, the break food objects? Like if you're the burglars of potato chip, this will take care of them. If you're ever invaded by potato chips, you can fight them off with this. Okay, I'm just gonna close down the doors again. Because I don't need them breaking through while I'm gone. Those are my windows. If I can't protect anything, it'll be the fucking windows. Pretty much. <coughs> but yeah. Despite the fact that the entire place goes up in flames the other, uh, later. Hey, I can't control Wesker with his bombs, but I can control the zombies. It was Alfred, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Who's the one who sets off the fucking self-destruction? Uh, it was Alfred, but to be fair, you also find a bunch of zombies roaming around that Wesker is rigged with bombs. So my headcanon that Wesker just went around stealing some of the charges, that's why the place didn't go up as... Uh, big as it could have. 
Because Wesker just yeeted all the bombs, stuck them to the zombie's head with some, like, super glue. <laughs> you know what? I accept that idea, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so that's why so much of the place is still intact. But that's just also a just theory. the idea of Wesker running around after stealing a bunch of bombs and strapping them to zombies. But that's just a theory. A gay theory. <laughs> wow, that jeep. How- wait, how is this jeep parked here? <laughs> Pure Capcom determination. It, mu it must be the gay agenda. Yeah, you found me out. I didn't say you, but okay. Kato's just like, I'm, I'm announcing my lesbianism. Fuck you. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kato's lesbianism is no longer valid. It has been revoked. She is now a pansexual. That's right. The only thing that wants to have sex with her is pans. I'm going to hit you with a pan. <laughs> Be careful, that might turn me on. Phew, phew. Fuck. <laughs> that, that, that's when Kato knows she's fucked, because she's like, well, I don't know what the, how to, I don't know how to hurt this man. I don't have a comeback for that. Pretty much. Yeah, have you seen that Tumblr account, P Puchico, or whatever his name is? Maybe. That's pretty much me. I just swing back with a new bat every time. Yeah, I believe that. I'm not and that. And you're definitely not getting to my favorite um, cutscene. Not for a while, but God, when we do. <laughs> that one tried to vomit on me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it there in this session, but... Oh, definitely not. It's a while. Fuck off, Fido! They changed one thing I don't like. You can't shoot them while they're growling anymore. Ah. Uh. Is it the cutscene where Wesker comes and just starts beating our ass? You would, no you BDS sim <laughs> maniac. <laughs> What? I like Wesker. <laughs> you just like the, watching a beatdown. I just like watching Wesker specifically. <laughs> yeah. Also, his voice is great in this game. Ah! Whore! Whore! You little bitch! Literally! <laughs> My favorite portrayal of Wesker, unfortunately, is in Umbrella Chronicles. I mean, he's good. Though... I don't know who's my favorite. I, is it bad I'm just really partial to the first game? Stop! Don't open that door! I mean, the first game is gold. Wesker <laughs> and Barry. Barry and... Not what? Out. Oh, Barry and Jill together. Jill and Barry. Uh, now I'm just picturing an alternate scenario where Jill's the traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker and Barry. You, Wesker, you were almost a cat sandwich. Fucking hell. Alright. Now I'm just picturing like an actually evil Jill. And not... Not... The fuck are not, pose was. not possessed titties Jill. Weirdly blonde Jill? Why the fuck is she blonde? I don't know. I still Wes love the... I think it was Yeti. Who made animations making fun of it where the only reason she's blonde is because Wesker has a thing for blondes and dyed her hair? Yeah, I think that was him, yeah. Alright, so this part's coming to an end. I hope you've had a good time. This has been Core. And Kato. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>